What is up guys, today we will be reviewing the Nike GK Confidence. This is one of the most expensive gloves on the market, Nike's top line glove. But for some reason, professionals do not wear this glove. No professional that I have seen at least has worn the Nike GK Confidence. They always wear the Nike VG3. But I'll be doing an honest review of this glove. So let's just jump right in. So this glove is packed with a ton of features, if I'm honest. This is just like one of the most packed in gloves I've ever used. So this is an eight, it's pretty small on me. Like my pinky's bent because it's, it's just too small for me. But um, I wore this a long time ago and I'm not doing a review because I mean, I can do an honest review for you guys now. Now, as you can see, this glove is not in good shape. One, because the durability is not good on it. And two, because this was left out in the sun because uh, my father didn't understand that uh, gloves are not supposed to be left in the sun. Um, but they look like this before. You, the, the camera's not picking it up, but the latex is just cracked like some, some places because it was left out in the sun. But I can give you a review of these now. So it's got three straps. This one is for the fingers. Pull it down. It gets a really tight fit on, on the fingers. Um, it's got the belt lock straps right here. It's got the big stitched in Nike swoosh. Wrap over thumb. Wraps around all the way. And you've got the dry fit, which, I mean, it's better than the Nike VG3 dry, dry fit. But uh, it picks up dirt, gets dirty faster, and just doesn't feel right. But um, you've got material gussets and this punching platform is probably one of the best punching platforms I've ever had on a pair of gloves. You can see if you bend it, it's just really flat mostly and it has like little ridges that were originally seen on um, um, the Nike laser line. Um, it added inside so when you kick the ball like with the inside of your foot you get a lot of contact and a lot of friction. Has it on here. I just, oh my god, I, I just love this punching platform. And the palm is six millimeters of super soft latex. Six millimeters. That's about two or three millimeters more than you'd ever have on another pair of gloves. Now the cut is traditional. Um, that's, what, that's what the cut is called, traditional cut. It's got holes punched out here. And you've also got the extended palm. Now, the, like I said in my Umbro view, the extended palm is one of my favorite features on a pair of goalkeeper gloves. It just gives you that extra confidence, which is what this glove is called, the Nike D GK Confidence. Now, the grip on this is extremely good in, in, the, in the early days, but as the glove starts to wear out, like obviously this one has, it'll start to get a little bit um, skittish. But you've got six millimeters of latex, so this will this will take a long while to wear out. And like I said, this glove is just packed with features. That's why its price tag is near $150. Yeah, but there's honestly not a whole lot I can say about the Nike GK Confidence. It's I wouldn't go as far as one of the best gloves I've ever used, but I'd say it's definitely a glove to take a look at. Maybe not buy, because like I said, it is really expensive, and in the in the later days. You won't get the best, it's not the best glove ever. So, like I said in my previous Umbro video, get the Umbros. They're $50 less in a much better glove than this. But yeah, this is my honest review of the Nike GK Confidence. And I thank you guys for watching. If you give me a like, a subscribe. And if you could just tell me if you like this glove, if you've used it, what your favorite glove brand is, what your favorite cut is. Like I said, I always like uh, responding to comments. So, I'll see you guys next time.